Sean. Hey, Zeus is on. Yes, sir. Ooh. Feel like a grouper? It's heavy, bro. It's heavy. Oh, nice one. Nice yellowtail. Oh, yeah. crap. That's a nice one. Big boy. Yeah. So we're catching the Bahia de Los Angeles. Right? Yeah, we're here. Bay of LA, Bahia de Los Angeles. We made a 16 hour drive to get here. Stopped along the way, picked up our friends. And so far, it's proving to be worth it. <laughs> so let's see if we can catch more yellowtail. But we'll fill you in on more as we fish. Welcome to a very special episode where we travel 16 hours to Bahia de Los Angeles. This is a really exciting time. We stayed at this place called Ricardo's and it's basically our home base for the next five nights. Four days of fishing on three different pongas with three different captains. We got Captain Marcos, Captain Yoshiro, and Captain Jesus and they put us on some fish of a lifetime, a bunch of species I have never caught before. So stay tuned, grab your popcorn, and enjoy Whee! the show. This is gorgeous. This is just beautiful. So warm, already got a yellow tail on deck. Boys are using the live bait that we jigged up this morning. We were getting a bunch of live bait really quick. We got like 50 pieces of mackerel and right now I'm trying the hookup bait for now and then see see how it goes. If they just start killing it on the live bait, I'll definitely switch. But I am looking to get spooled <laughs> on this Selena 6000 on the Okuma PCH Custom. Let's see if we can't uh, have some fun out here. Oh, bit. Oh, that's a big one. Fish. Oh, nice. There you go. Big yellow tail. Nice, buddy. Jeez. As you can see, Albert and I were just struggling zigging oh, when we should be fruit. zagging, throwing the that's wrong things, and we figured it out finally and oh, no, swapped no, no, out, no, no, no. but it seemed like it was too late. Or was it? I'm bit. I'm bit. I'm bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's done. Yeah, keep putting it in. Yeah, now you got it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Come on. Oh. The first time you try the way to count the tail, you made it. Yep. Oh. <sighs> 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 All right. These yellows fight so hard. <sighs> That's why we're here, says Felipe. Oh. Whew. Yes. Uh. 
Come up, baby. Come up, baby. Come up, baby. Ugh. Oh, it's a snapper or a pargo. Oh, Big old snapper. pargo. Yeah. Big old pargo. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice pargo. Yeah. Nice pargo. Woo! Delicious. <laughs> Chingo. Oh, Gracias. Oh, Pargo City, baby! Yeah. First fish of the day is not a bad one for me. Well, actually, I caught a bunch of small ones, and me and, Al me and Albert just doubled up on Pargo. These are beautiful, beautiful, good tasting fish. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Woo, baby. Right yeah. <laughs> First day down. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. <laughs> Variety species of fish caught today is just amazing. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow's. I'm looking for a better day tomorrow. We're gonna have to just, you know, put our A game on and uh, get them damn yellowtail. <laughs> we gotta get the yellowtail, dude. Yeah, so Jesus kicked it off with that really nice yellowtail. Right now he's the real master. Oh man, we're about to eat. Life's rough out here. Life is rough. Yeah. How many did you get? How many yellowtail? Three. Three for Hector. And then our, 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 our friend inside, Mr. Felipe, he was the slayer. Yeah, we got, we got all of the fish done and prepared, uh, ready to come back home with us. That is our day one right there that we're gonna divide between the five of us. So there's definite room for improvement. They actually, let me just show you guys how they do it here, <laughs> how the boys do it. I'm like an add-on to this crew of four and uh, Albert was able to uh, get the boys to agree to have me come along. So I am the fifth wheel. That's my bed over there. That couch. <laughs> and then uh, they, br they actually bring a freezer so that they can keep ice all night that we buy and Albert's getting attacked by a bee. Oh, don't make it angry. That thing was huge, man. But anyway, now that you guys got filled in, I think that Pargo was an awesome catch. I didn't get a weight, I wish I did. Um, but yeah, like Albert said, day one is in the books. Day two should be great too. Uh, we didn't tell you, but it was just windy the whole week before we arrived. So these captains of these boats, they haven't really put together a pattern because it's just been nasty. So yesterday, or actually today's day one, everyone is pretty much scrambling to figure out a bite, but the wind is supposed to continue to be good for us, hopefully for the next three, because we're actually gonna be fishing at least two more times, maybe three more times. And then, yeah, hopefully we get some more yellowtail and uh, hope you guys enjoy this adventure. Get ready for day two, right now. Day two. Yeah. Day two, let's do it, baby. Woo! Let's get him. What is this called? Oh yeah, that, that reminds me. The word of the day. Huachinango. <laughs> that's it. That's that's new nickname. Huachinango. Because he caught the biggest huachinango yesterday. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the word for the pargo that we caught yesterday. Huachinango. Here's the spelling. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's, we just it just rolls off your tongue funny. And I, I swear there's a Tagalog meaning for it too. There's a Filipino meaning, but I just can't figure it out. My mom used to Call. Actually, she's called me that before, and I don't know why. But if you guys know Tagalog and you know what Wachinango is in the translation, leave it in the comments. I couldn't Google it, but I know there is one. But guys, get ready. Day two is about to begin. making a run we'll just take a quick break it's super flat it's like a lake out here but today's target is gonna be grouper giant grouper 
our captain is saying that we need a minimum of a hundred pound line for these guys but we're gonna try to make it work with 80 pound today I got 80 pound on the leader and then I got 65 pound on the braid so hopefully I don't tackle one of like the hundred pounders but hopefully I get something that can uh, you know come up with 65 pound braid but so we'll see we'll see these fish uh, pull very hard and they go straight to the rocks and uh, if you don't have your drag tight say bye bye Check out how long this leader is. This is it, man. Yeah, we're gonna put some live mac on there. A little tiro. What is the law? Okay. They have it. Listo, listo. That's it, man. ¿Te están comiendo, Felipe? Put it on low speed in case you hook up. Just pull them away from the rocks as soon as possible. This gets heavy really fast. How big was the one that you caught last time? I don't remember. It was about, I don't know, 30 pounds, 40 pounds. Yeah, some, some, some. What? What? There it is. What? Not today. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. This is a pin 16 VI SX and I got it on full drag. No, I guess I need to have to wait or take it out. No, you better have your drag on tight, bro, because if you get one like this. No, they just eat mine off. They're just picking them right off. Dude, that's a good one. Look, you got six, bro. The demon, the mustache demon. Oh my God, that's beautiful, bro. Nice. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Whoa, bro. Yeah, I gotta bro. Think that what is that? Is that a spine from a? That's a spine from a. Um. Oh. That's some that? sort of spine that was in its side. Oh, it stinks. It was probably something that it ate and it's making its way out. Let me know what that is. Could be. Is that a barb from a stingray? Put your drag tight, bro. Low, low speed. Holy crap. <sighs> after a catch like that, who really cares what we caught after that? We didn't even weigh this thing. It would have maxed out my scale, which only weighed up to 50 pounds. So I'm sure this thing was in the 60 to 70 pound class range at least. But we did manage to catch quite a few more pargo and a few more grouper. What you got there, Albert? Woo! Watching Since we went yesterday, uh, we figured out what rig was working, and uh, we made some adjustments last night, and it's paying off. Double, double trouble. Woo! Chinango. <laughs> Where are we? There it is, buddy. Yeah. Oh, what's up with the blood on your face? Fire, baby. Oh, yeah. I got to get the blood stripes on there. Redeem myself from yesterday. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, yesterday wasn't the best for Albert and I, but we did catch a bunch of ground fish. But yellowtail, we struck out. So we still have a chance today for some yellowtail. But if not, we still have two more days of fishing after today. Incredible, incredible. Captain Yoshido did an amazing fillet job back at the dock. 
We kept this fish cool on ice and anytime it was out of the cooler while he was taking care of the other fish, we made sure that it was prime and the collar came out amazing. Grouper collar was the bomb. It was like amazing. Yeah. I mean, the, our uh, ceviche was great, but the collar was like, wow. Mm -hmm. and it was all right. The bad thing is, <laughs> it would be a while before we ate another one. <laughs> yeah, who knows when we're going to be able to have a grouper collar again because that thing was just, yeah, you can't, you can't eat that. When you did that on the smoke, uh, um, smoked it inside that hole. Just put it this way, like oh, 10 years fishing That's here. Awesome. I have a good one. Huh? It's like 10, 10, 10 years. He's been 10 the years. only one who got a grouper in here. The whole time? Yeah, twice. But he's well, the only one. That's okay. No, I'm just saying, man. But just think, you know, like, he come here like, what, seven times, eight times so far? Yeah. yeah. It's just luck, luck of the draw. Yeah. Well, I think it's not just yeah. luck, but it had some skill behind that, too, because the way you, you brought that out of the water is just amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not kidding, bro. Well, that, he, that was bad. He, that was he, bad. He, besides that, he have the the right gear. It pays to have the right gear. He does. It does. Yeah. Okay. Or like don't, I'm bringing, bring, don't bring a knife into a gunfight. We got that giant grouper on board, and like the boys were saying, it's super rare to get one of those. So you can't be salty about that. But we're gonna get some yellowtail today. So that's gonna be freaking awesome. This is again, like Albert says, day three of four fishing days here at Bay of LA. We just arrived. It is day three. We are officially over halfway through this trip and today's target is Yellowtail. We are at the opening to this bay and this is where the yellowtail funnel in and they've been getting them today or the previous days so it's exciting stuff guys we're basically gonna bait up some mackerel send them down to however depth these fish are let's see if they're home send them down with a little toss Got all the work, got all the little shit right here. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Wide, wide. Real, real, real. Back to real. There you go, wind it. Yeah. That's the title of the guy. No, 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 wind, keep wind. Just keep winding, Hector. Oh, yeah. Stay on, bud. Stay on, bud. Stay on, bud. Oh. Oh. That's a big one. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, he's good. I'll get him. Circle hook. Oh, it's the best fight of the day, of the trip so far. First one in Bola. Look at that tail pumps. Oh, sh sea lion. PCH custom doing work. Oh. All right, I'm almost color. Almost color. Color. Oh my gosh, color. That is a nice one on the Okuma Kavala. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> good job! <Woo. laughs> that was a good one, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Gracias. Wow. Big. It's been a dry spell, like, until today. 
three days of fishing, all the boys have caught yellowtail, actually, except Albert, too. So, we, <laughs> out for blood. <laughs> Whoa! We got Ed hooked up over here. Hector's on. Hector's on. Let's go, baby. Whoa! Come on, Albert. You got it. Yeah, he's getting mad. There you go, boss. Wine, wine, wine. You're good. You're good. You're good. Number three for the day. <laughs> Leader. Yeah. Gonna be color soon. He wants to go, but you gotta stop him. Yep. Oh, nice one, Albert. There he is, there he is. I see color. There he is. There he is. Wow. There you go. Oh yeah, that's a big one, bro. Nice. Duck him? Yeah. Yeah, bro, right there. We'll be good. Well, I went to introduce you today with, with the captain, uh, Yoshiro Suzuki. Yeah, I went fishing with them a couple days. Uh, caught some grouper the first day, caught some big grouper. Um, it was a great trip. And we just got back in from a yellowtail trip and uh, you know, he just, uh, he took us out and we killed it. You know, Yoshiro's um, been fishing um, since he was five years old with his dad. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, now he's a, you know, Banga owner and he's out here doing it in uh, Baja. And uh, he works for uh, Bola Sport Fishing right here. Found out that um, his baby, his baby's due um, September. in September. And so he's going to be a dad for the, for the first time. And, uh, you know, he, he says he plans to bring his son out here too when you know when he's small and, and take him fishing too and teach him the ropes. Your shiro learn fishing from his dad. He's been on you know on the boat since five years old. No pues si todo quien respetar el limite. Y si no pues tratamos de respetar siempre el limite. Yeah. They always try to respect the, the fish limits here, you know, to conserve, you know, the fish population so that you know Bola doesn't get fished out like other places have been fished out. You know, he respects the limits. Como te pueden encontrar la gente por Instagram. Bola Sport Fishing or Yoshiro Sport Fishing? Uh, yeah, look, look them up on, on Bola Sport Fishing or Yoshiro Sport Fishing. Mm. Bola. Let's wait for you again. Yes. Dios quiere, aquí Dios lo esperamos. Quiere. Oh, yeah. It is day four of fishing Bay of LA and it's bittersweet because this is the last day, four days, where three days are done. And uh, we got all the boys on a new ponga today. Wind is a little sketchy today. We don't know exactly what it's gonna do. Uh, the reports are uh, varying, but we got a new captain who is willing to give it everything that we got. It is shaping up to be a very interesting day. So come along, let's fish. Oh, Albert's on. Nice one. They're gonna be big. Holy crap. Woo! Booyah, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Look at that. That's a nice one, Albert. Yeah, yeah. How are your arms? Tired, bro. He said tired. On, Albert! Albert's full bendo. Full bendo. My head's too big, but... Oh, boy! Color, color. Bad day. Woo! Booyah! 
Another point. Yeah. Baby, 2023 bottle line. Woo! Mash. That's a big boy, man. That's the fish of the day. Thank you, boss. That's well, the fish of the trip, man. Other than the grouper. We just made it through the border. No secondary, no secondary check whatsoever. Look at this. A lot of stuff and a cooler back there. Amazing. It's because Albert made a silly joke, and then the guy's like, get out of here. Okay, we don't want you sticking around for two hours in secondary. We trust you. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else who says something like that, he needs to get to it. Yeah. Gets a, gets a free pass, go home. <laughs> Guy says, what are you guys doing? Are you guys uh, just visiting? He's like, or, or coming back home. Come back home. Oh, where's home? California. <laughs> There were so many things in this trip that didn't even make it into the video. We did a lot of cool things. I just wanted to say thank you to the boys who allowed me to come along. Thank you to Albert. Thank you to the captains. We had the greatest experiences, saw the best sunrises, and had some of the best fishing. Have you ever seen this sweat processing? Look at this guy's right here. Hey, baby. Five guys worth, five guys worth. Overpacker. Overpacker. Oh, Overpacker. Overpacker. 2023. Woo! Yep, cheers. <laughs> My bad. Damn, bro. Crop dusted. <laughs> I went to go reach for my, for my weight in my bag, and I was right there next to Felipe. And, I mean, Jesus, and he just ripped one, bro. Who is that? Good stunt, bro.